Ever wonder why some content generate a lot of engagement and maybe even signed up and sales, while other posts, they tend to just go flat. You either don't get any common engagement or you're not actually attracting and generating sales from those content that you create. And you probably have spent hours and upon hours trying to create those content or videos or reels. If that's what you've been feeling, this video is for you. Today, I'm going to break down what are some of the type of content that you can create that actually drive results for coaches. And I'm also going to share one very important resources that I have created recently that would help you to make better engagement, capture more attention, and also convert more paying clients. I'm Michelle and I am a visibility and marketing coach, motivational speaker and author, and I help female coaches and speakers to attract their dream clients and captivate, connect and convert them. In this video, we're going to talk about what makes uh, a better content that actually will convert your paying clients and how can you create them so that you make the most out of your time and turning your audience into paying clients. The first type of content that you can create as coach that would allow you to convert your audience into paying client is storytelling content. I personally have used these strategies in my own business and that allowed me to build authority, credibility, and also got invited to multiple podcasts because the storytelling, it works. And it's not just any type of story, right? Because you want to tell stories that will connect you with your audience emotionally so that people feel relatable. If you missed that video last week, I talked about why some ordinary stories that you think that it's insignificant to you uh, might not create an impact and in my last video i talked about how that is not true so if you missed that video go back and i'm gonna link it in the description box down below so you can go and check it out there's a lot of us um, coaches especially that we feel that i don't have a tractor story i don't have a dramatic story and therefore i don't want to tell it I, or i don't want to be too vulnerable in sharing it and that might send uh, upset some people or some of my relatives might just uh, disconnect with me or unfriend me so there's a lot of internal battle that's going on in terms of storytelling but i can tell you from my own experience and also as experience from from a speaker perspective storytelling content is probably your number one go-to in order to build that bridge build that connection with your audience here's why it works because when you create content you're actually creating it for the audience that you're sharing. And you're creating it because there's prospects that who need to hear that to see themselves in you or to see your to see you in themselves. And you become this model, become this inspiration, this mentor, this guy whom they can aspire to be or to actually learn the skill that you have in their own journey. Storytelling content works because it creates that relatability and it builds that trust very fast. When you showcase, when you tell your story, it's showing your audience that you've been where they are right now and you have the solution of what they need and there's no better way to do that than inside a story so here's an example of how you can do that starting with a storyline i remember when i was struggling with negative self-talk for example and as a life and mindset coach when i first started out my business that's exactly what i did because i was someone who was struggling with a lot of negative self-talk and the way that i started to share my journey was i remember a time when i was a negative self-talker and that got me started got the story going or if you're not someone who have a lot of story overcoming story or change of life trajectory story then perhaps your client has right there's a story maybe me Lucy was struggling with something and now she's this and you see this storytelling example a lot inside or the client success story a lot inside the fitness industry uh, a lot of fitness coaches like to use the before and then the after and it's 
perfect example of your storytelling, right? Meet Joe. Joe was 150 pounds, and now he's 76 pounds, right? There's a before and after result, and so that's a perfect example of how you can create、uh, storytelling content that would get your audience to feel inspired and see the possibility of how this can also happen to them because it creates that relatability and also trust. The second type of content that you can create as a coach and as a speaker is to actually create valuable, value-driven educational content. And I shared this in a couple of videos before. There are types of content that you can create that would allow you to demonstrate and provide the value, so that your client can actually see the value of why they should be working with you, and so you no longer have to jump on a call and convince them why your coaching package works. They simply consume your. They simply Simply consume your content, and through your content, they do walk away with the value. They do walk away with tips or strategies that they can implement right away in their life. And so, educational posts or content is a great way to allow your audience to see your expertise and also to know that hey. If she's talking about this, she probably knows something about this, right? So it's a great way to build your authority, and you're also providing actionable tips and steps that people can implement in their life right now. And why does this work? Because it positions you as the go-to expert. So if you've been just sharing your inspirational story, then perhaps today, starting today, is time to change, right? Provide some value content, things that's educational, and maybe inside that tip, inside that post, or inside that video, you share. One、uh, valuable go-to or actionable item that you want your audience to do, and invite them to take on that action. Right. One of the things that I often do inside that inside a educational post is, which of the following would you like to implement today? So by the end of this video, I would love to hear which type of this content you'll be creating this week. And so, not only did I provide some educational tips inside this video, but I'm also giving you some actionable step that you can take. It means that you're not just going to watch this video; you're actually implementing one of the strategy that I have shared. And I would love for you to comment down below which one of this type of content that you'll be doing for this upcoming week. Okay, so that's a value-driven educational content that you can do, and the way that you can do this is you can do it inside a blog post, you can do it as a social media post, or you can do it in a con in a video content. It's a different format that you can create, and these three types of content will work in any case scenario. The third type of content that you can create as a coach that's going to allow you to convert your audience into paying client is that your content has a strong call to action. So earlier, I just gave you a perfect example of. I want to know after the end of the video which type of the content are you going to be creating. Comment down below and let me know which one would you be implementing today. So the third type of content is with a content that has a strong call to action. Let's say you are creating a post or a videos or doing a reel, and you want to get more people signing up to your email list. Let's say you have a lead magnet that you would like to offer, and you're creating a video about it. Maybe you're creating a reel about it, or maybe you're writing a social media post about it, and you have caption ready. What you want to include is never forget to include a strong call. To action. Now, I just gave you three tips on how to create better content. Now, if you want more, here's my resource that I have created for you. So, you want to create some type of call to action to move your audience into the next step. And I see this makes mistake that coaches make all the time is that you simply leave inspiration and that's it. <laughs> There's no what is the next step. Whether it's comment down below, or maybe click on the subscribe button if you have not already done so, or maybe download my free five tips or three tips of how you can change your、uh, daily habit. 
All these are great call to action that you should be including in your content so that you get your audience, you convert more audience into paying client. And we all know, and especially I know that having an email list means a whole lot of uh, value in your business. So if you do not have an email list, I would highly recommend and suggest that you think about in creating your lead magnet. And I have videos also on that, how to utilize your email marketing to build your coaching business. I'll link it down in the description box below so that you can go and watch that video if you are interested in creating the lead magnet to build your email list. But one of the things I teach all my students is that you need to have a call to action at the end of your content. Invite your audience to do or take the next step with you so that you can turn them from general audience into some uh, into someone who's more interested, more committed, and wanted to hear more about what you have to offer. So don't forget to include a call to action at the end of your video, reel, or your blog post, or just your social media post. And I see also a common trend where coaches are leaving a short bio at the end of their caption. You see this a lot on LinkedIn. Now, oftentimes I see having a great bio is great, but there's no call to action. You get people to know who you are, but what do you want them to do after they know you, right? So you don't want to forget to include a call to action to invite them to the next step. So what are some of the examples for taking the uh, call to action? It could be comment below your biggest takeaway. So comment down below, what has been your biggest takeaway from this video? Or download my free resource to get started in the link in the episode notes. That would be another call to action. Or clicking my bio, if you're on Instagram, click on my bio to book a discovery call. Or click the link in around this video to get my discovery call. So something like that, you always want to remember to include inside your content, no matter what type of content. All right, I covered three types of content you should be creating that's going to allow you to turn your audience into paying client. Now, the best part is, okay, so what is the best content for coaches to share? The best content is actually a blend of all these three things together. So for example, if you're doing video, you might want to uh, jump onto a video and share or tell a story inside a video with a call to action to book a call. Something like what I just did here. Uh, I just created content. I created educational content. And I'm going to invite you to download a resource that I have created that's going to allow you to captivate your audience no matter where you are, who they are, and what type of content you create captivate them in the next 60 seconds. A lot of coaches are, are not doing this in the very beginning of their video. I see so many coaches wasted their time in that first 60 second of video and they're trying to figure out, oh, is my microphone working? Oh, is the light working? Oh, is my makeup on? And there's so many time wasted within that 60 second of your video that you can grab people's attention so that they actually want to stay on and watch the rest of the video. There's so much time wasted on that. So I created a resource for you so that you no longer have to wait and wasting valuable 60 seconds of your time. Now, this strategies ap actually apply to video content, to when you create a reel. A lot of time I go through the reels that coaches are creating and they're wasting so much valuable time and space when you can immediately grab people's attention. So inside that free guide, you have exercise to map out exactly what you're going to talk about in the first 60 seconds. Now, once you map it out, what you do is you turn on the video or turn on the camera and you practice it. Now, does this work for if you're going on to a live stage or uh, to a podcast or you're hosting a webinar? Yes, it does. Okay, so this works for all type of uh, places and stage vir virtually or in person. You can find the link down below in this video. I would highly recommend that you go ahead and grab a copy of that. Okay, so 
I was talking about the bonus tip, right? So ideally, you want all three together in a single video or a reel that you're going to do. And you can always repurpose that video into a blog post, your Instagram carousel, or maybe even an email. There's so many different ways that you can repurpose that video that yeah, you just did. For example, a video like this, I can repurpose and turn it into a blog post. I can turn it into a, a carousel. I can turn it into an email. I I can turn it into uh, a story. So there's a lot of different way that you can repurpose your content, but these are the three major type of content that you can create as a coach to convert more audience into a paying client. What are those three? Storytelling content, value-driven educational content, and con any type of content that has a strong call to action. It could be a reel, could be a story, could be a carousel, but don't forget that very important thing is a call to action, okay? So let's wrap this up. When it comes to content creation that actually convert your audience to paying clients, it's all about connect connection. It's about providing values and it's about guiding your audience into the next step. Okay, so a lot of the mistakes I see from coaches is that they forget that, oh, I need to create inspirational content, I need to create educational content, but they're missing the last step, which is guiding their audience to the next step. And so you end up having someone coming back to you and say, oh my gosh, you are so inspirational, I love your story, I love your journey, but then what? It doesn't mean anything for them. So the best way to create content and the content that actually convert for coaches and also speakers is storytelling, educational, and having a strong call to action as part of your content strategy. That is going to help you to start seeing a difference in terms of your audience responses. All right, so don't forget, I created a resources. If you want to stop wasting time in creating content that just go flat or not captivating your audience and they just scroll you by, I created this resource for you where you can captivate any audience in 60 seconds. And this guy is probably exactly what you need to grab attention, build connection, and set the tone for what's coming up next. Don't waste that valuable 60 time trying to figure out, oh, is my microphone working? You should be doing that before you get onto the live stage. You should be doing that before you turn onto the microphone. You should be doing that before you even start doing any live. Do the practice. The more practice you have, the more comfortable you are, which is why you want to download this free resource because it, it provides you with the opportunity to practice so that you can feel more confident and also comfortable within that 60 second when you go live whether it's on a video or actually going onto the stage, okay? Comment down below, let me know, again, which type of the content you'll be creating. And even better, if you'd like to share a link down below, I will go check it out. And don't forget to grab my resource on how to captivate your audience in 60 seconds. I will see you in the next video.